Brother Eunice, over to you. Sure. It is my pleasure this afternoon to, pres to provide some ideas on the way forward. There are always more questions than answers, and we want your inputs, your involvement, and your ideas. As Muslims, we have, we have identified the following as our problem statement, and we want to know whether you agree with us. Um, as concerned South African citizens, we identify with the unfulfilled needs of the masses of South Africans in terms of socioeconomic justice. And we also note the straying by government and business from the constitutional prescripts of striving for dignity and prosperity for all. And as concerned Muslims, we see a lack of coherent and cohesive Islamic leadership and a lack of a cohesive, coordinated, united and focused Muslim activism. And also a Muslim youth that are disillusioned and drifting away from Islam. We are concerned. What are the root causes of our problems? Can we move on to the next slide? Yeah. As South Africans, we note a decay in ethical and moral leadership across government, business, and civil society, and the rise of a secular, atheistic, capitalist, and narcissistic social culture. And as Muslims, we are concerned about our madrasas, and Darul Looms using outdated and irrelevant syllabi, which perpetuates a passive and ritualistic and narrow interpretation of Islam. That brings me to the question in your mind, why should I care? I'll give you four good reasons. Firstly, seeking Allah's good pleasure and Jannah. Secondly, our life, our health, wealth, youth, and our time are a trust from Allah, for which we will be held accountable by Allah on the Day of Judgment. Also, if social inequalities, socioeconomic justice, youth unemployment, and all of these other issues are not addressed, we will all be destroyed in the social upheaval. And lastly, the decay in ethics and morality destroys and impacts on our own sense of ethics and morality, and we begin to rationalize and justify it. So why Musa? Firstly, because it seeks to provide sincere, mature, and inclusive experience and ethical leadership. It promotes an inclusive, open-minded, and coordinated approach towards similar-minded religious and secular activist organizations. Thirdly, it seeks an approach that is scientific and well-researched, focusing on catalytic projects with high-impact focus areas where gaps exist to avoid duplication and wastage of resources. And fourthly, it, also, it is also Islamic values-based activism towards socioeconomic justice. These are the five, the next slide, we've got the five focus, strategic focus areas that we have identified. What do you think about that? Are we correct? These are public policy engagements, civil society institutional development, social cohesion, community development, and Musa's capability and growth. And that brings us to the next slide. That brings us to our proposed strategy and why. And you know, we want to know whether you agree with us. We as a small group have some ideas and passion and concern, but we do not have sufficient human and intellectual and financial resources to, to transport these ideas from dreams to reality. And therefore, we have brought our vision and ideas to this forum to invite you to join Musa and to ignite your concern, your passion, and your energy, and your resources so that we can all be part of this noble journey. We want you to register on the Musa website and provide us with relevant information on your skill sets and knowledge, your geographical location, your volunteer hours, etc. And we suggest setting up five commissions for each of the five focus areas and appointing a chairperson. We can then match all of our skill sets and knowledge with the requirements of the five commissions. Commissions will be set up with clear mandates, terms of reference, and with time frames. What are the suggested time, the terms of reference for the commissions at a high level? What else do you suggest? The commissions will be guided by the strategic goals of Musa. The commissions will research the current status of intervention in each focus area, both in the public and private sector. 
They will determine if there are any gaps in intervention that could be filled by Musta and prioritize these gaps. And for each gap, they will set key performance indicators and targets in smart format. They'll determine the resource requirements in the areas of human, intellectual, and financial resources and make recommendations for Musa involvement. So type, what type of projects will Musa be involved in and how will this be decided? The projects will need to flow out of our strategic goals. The commissions will prepare written submissions with recommendations on projects. Musa membership will reconvene to consider the reports on, and recommendations on projects from the commissions. Members will determine the projects Musa should accept based on priorities, impact, and resource availability. The actions and projects should be mainly of a catalyzing nature, where we have high impact with the least amount of resources. For each project, a project champion and a team of volunteers will be tasked with preparing a project plan with key performance indicators and targets in smart goal format. A three-year operational plan and a detailed annual performance plan will be prepared for Musa together with an operational budget. So what will the final structure of Musa look like? Our organizational structure needs to follow our strategy. So members will consider different models and determine the structure of Musa to, to enable it to meet its, to meet its key, key performance objectives. We also need to decide whether Musa is going to be a broad church or a focus group. There are advantages and disadvantages to both these options. We could have a corporate structure with a board of directors elected by the members. And the board would be the accounting authority and would exercise an oversight role and determine policies. The commission chairpersons of each of the five focus areas should be part of the board of directors. And an executive team comprising of key employed personnel and volunteers would perform day-to-day -day operations. Musa's constitution and strategic plan will be finalized in terms of the above taking into account the codes of good governance. For example, King IV Commission of Good Governance. And finally, what do we want from you? Next slide, please. Uh, we want you to re register on our Musa website, indicating your areas of strength and your volunteer hours. We want you to get involved with Musa and support us. And we want you to make dua for the success of Musa. Shukran Kathir and Jazakallah Khairan for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah Yunus, that really brings it into a nice summary and conclusion for further discussion. I think uh, in terms of the strategic goals, objectives, and the projects you highlighted, clearly there's lots of projects that we could initiate for uh, greater collaboration and achieve, to, you know, to achieve the broader objectives. But as you've outlined also, our intention is to be inclusive and have people contribute towards it for it to succeed. It can't just be a core group of 15, 20 of us. We need to have quite a few people dedicated to each of the strategic goals that uh, Yusuf outlined and some of the projects that you alluded to. And that would mean participation and partnership with already existing initiatives and NGOs and entities out there, as well as driving the facilitation from our side. So I am now going to take the opportunity after Eunice's talk, uh, he covered quite a lot uh, and the needs of the masses is a primary objective we talked about, uh, which he mentioned in, in his slide, the youth and the inclusion of the youth and women in our society are crucial for us to consider. Women make up more than half of our communities, half of humanity. And if we can't leverage the tremendous skills, experience, assets that women have uh, and the youth have, then we will be shooting ourselves in the foot. So let's see how we can put our minds together and make it happen. I, um, 